I'm Serena Greenslade and I'm a qualified elocution teacher. I uh, prefer to call myself a voice confidence coach because people always assume that elocution teachers are serious, wear tweed suits, teach people to speak very posh. And I'd like to think that my lessons are full of fun. I have a slight Dorset accent and I wear jeans and baggy jumpers. So I'm a bit more unconventional than most elocution teachers. Um, who do you prefer to teach? Do you teach anyone? I teach people of all ages, from all walks of life, so professional doctors, university lecturers, to little three and four year olds. And everybody thinks they have different needs, but basically it comes down to being able to speak clearly and slowly, really. Teaching one-to-one -one is easier for me and probably for the pupil. They get more benefit from it. Um, they, they have a chance to work at their own pace and we can use pieces that suit them. And also they don't feel so self-conscious if they have a problem with speaking anyway. Often one-to-one -one is much better. Okay, how do you gain that trust? Well, obviously everybody's different, so we try to work in a very informal situation. So I teach in cafes, um, I sit on people's floors, um, play with the dogs, and you just get people to be relaxed and just speak as they would normally speak without having to worry too much whether they make mistakes or not. We use a lot of work that they have to read, and I always make a point of saying it's not a reading test, I don't care if they go wrong. I just want to hear them speak. It doesn't matter what they say. Um, I have a lot of people come to me who want to lose their accent totally. They say they would like to be able to speak and nobody would have a clue where they came from, which I personally think is a shame because accents are nice. But I teach people to speak clearly and if they speak slowly and articulate well, then usually the accent becomes less of a problem because people don't notice it. If the speech is nice and clear anyway, then it's usually not the accent that was the problem in the first place. Uh, start by teaching everybody the same. My first lesson for absolutely everybody is almost identical. And so I explain to people how the sounds are made in their mouth, how they need to open their mouth wider to let the sounds out how to articulate well so every sound is clear and then we go through a few exercises. Then I explain that apart from that you need to be able to sound interesting. It's no good speaking very very clearly if what you say just sounds boring. So then we go through expression and how to make important words stand out and that for a lot of people is the hardest thing. The technical skills, knowing where to put your tongue can be taught. But for somebody to have the confidence to make words stand out is a bit more difficult. Do you enjoy what you do? Very much, yes. I really enjoy seeing people. When, when you see that the pennies dropped and they suddenly get it and realise it wasn't as difficult as they thought it was going to be and that it's fun, yes, great fun. Were you ever shy? Very shy. Um, I was sent to elocution lessons when I was 10 because I wouldn't speak to the teachers at school. My mum had had lessons and she sent me. It didn't change me from a very shy person into an extrovert, but it gave me the confidence to speak when I knew I had to. A lot of people take exams because they find it gives them a reason to practice. They're often surprised to find that there are exams in speaking aloud and they can take them in verse speaking or just reading aloud, interview technique, public speaking, spoken English as an additional language, or acting, just straightforward acting or even Shakespeare. Uh, once they get the bug, most people take two, three, four exams and they find it a real challenge and a satisfaction. Could you give the wider world some simple tips? The things that most people do wrong, mainly they speak too quickly and they don't pause enough. It, it is easy to speak 
quickly and clearly, but the person listening needs time to take in what you've said. So you need to be quite slow. Also nowadays, people have a habit of saying things like, like, or okay, or all right, halfway through a sentence or at the end of a sentence, or just um, and that can be very, very irritating to a listener. It's quite a difficult habit to stop. So the best thing to do is to think it. So think all right or okay in your head. Don't say it.